Good morning. We're so glad you joined us for Be Kids Time today. We can't wait to grow and learn with you today. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31.6 
Have you ever done something really kind, like really, really kind for somebody, and then someone else got the credit for it? Isn't that crazy that you can do something and work really hard and do something really nice for someone, maybe even sacrifice a little bit for someone else, and then when it comes down to it, you don't even get the thanks? You know, at times it was a little bit like that with Israel and God. You see, God would swoop in and God would save his people, and yet at times God didn't really get all the glory. He didn't even get all the credit for it. Sometimes the Israelites took the credit. We've been talking about the Israelites and how they went through this cycle. You see, the Israelites, they would rebel from God. They would turn their back on him. They would do their own thing. They would realize they'd done wrong and they would repent. And then finally, God would come to their rescue and he would restore them and restore their relationship. For a while, the Israelites would trust and obey God, but then they would forget about God and they would rebel all over again. You see, though, God was the one who was worthy of their praise and worship. He should have been worshipped and praised all the time. But instead, they went through the cycle over and over and over again. During this time when they'd rebelled, there was this group called the Midianites. The Bible describes them almost like a plague of locusts. You see, locusts are like bugs that come and they eat all of the plants. And the Midianites, they did that. You see, the Israelites lived in this great place. They had all these crops, all this wonderful food. And yet the Midianites would come and they would take it all from them. The Israelites were scared of the Midianites. They were scared of their army. And so the Israelites called out to God for help. The Bible says that the the Israelites even hid in caves in the mountains because they were so worried. But you know what? God was worthy of their trust. And God heard their cries, and God sent a man named Gideon. Gideon, when he first spoke to God, was kind of hiding also in a wine press. The Bible says that maybe he wasn't so confident either, but yet God had chosen Gideon to lead his people and free them from the Midianites. You see, Gideon didn't even really fully trust God himself. And so he set some challenges before God. He tested God a few times, but then he realized that God was serious and God was wanting to use him to free the Israelites from the rule of the Midianites. Gideon got the army of Israel together. There were 32,000 men who were ready to fight. But you know what? God told Gideon that there were too many men God wanted to show Gideon and the rest of the people that God alone would win the battle. That he was the one who needed to get the credit for this victory. And God was the one who was worthy of all of the glory. Not Gideon's large army. So you know what God did? God set some challenges for Gideon in order to get rid of soldiers. How crazy is that? They needed everyone they could have to face this massive army of the the Midianites. And yet God took that army from 32,000 men to 10,000 men. And then only in the end, they went with 300 men. And yet God used 300 men and they surrounded the Midianite camp. And God gave them the victory without them even really having to fight. God got all of the credit. And he is worthy of our praise. He's worthy of all the glory. In your life, do you recognize all the good things God's done for you? Do you give God the credit when he works in your life? God is worthy of our praise. That is such a great story. I love how God can take the things that we think we need so that we can have victory or get what we want or need or think we need and change things around so much so that we know for sure that it was God who helped us through. God is so worthy. He's so worthy of our praise and our love and anything else we could ever think to give him. Today, I want you to take a minute and think about a time where you just knew that it had to be God helping you through whatever you were going through. And I want you to take a little bit of time And just give God some praise. Just thank him for being who he is and thank him for being worthy of the praise that you give him. Let's just take a minute to thank God. Let's take some time to pray. 
Lord, today we thank you. We thank you for who you are and for what you do and even the things that we don't even realize you do or overlook. God, we thank you for the air in our lungs to help us breathe. We thank you for the blood that pumps through our bodies so that we can live. Father, we thank you for who you are and what you do. And Lord God, we just thank you for everything. Lord, the trees in the air, the trees, the air, the wind, Lord, everything that you've made, everything that you do, Lord God, we just thank you. You are so worthy of being praised. And we pray, God, that you would help us to remember, especially this week as we go into celebrating Thanksgiving, how worthy you are. In your name we pray. Amen. Shoot me down, 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 down. I'm bulletproof because of you, because of you. And now I'm bulletproof because of you, because of you. You love me away, now I'm not afraid. No matter what the world may say or what they say. My soul is untouchable because you've already won me. My victory is not in this flesh and bone. It's in the cross and I know nobody's taking it from me. I got my armor now, no fear, no doubt. Can't shoot me down, yeah. I got my armor now, no fear, no doubt. Gonna shoot me down, 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 down. Be strong and courageous. 
Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31.6。We just wanted to say we hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and we cannot wait to see you in person. Thanks for joining us today. We love you.